Welcome to the workbench, I'm Doug. Today I'd like to show you an easy method for threading up your jazz machine. So first, we always wanna make sure that we rotate our hand wheel so that the take up lever is at its highest position. Next, like any machine, we wanna make sure that the presser foot lifter lever is in the up position. And what that does is open up your tension disc to make sure that your thread lays within them properly. And we come through the first thread guide, then we wrap around the second thread guide and come straight down to the left side of that metal plate here. Come underneath number three, come back up to the top, make sure you catch that take up lever at its highest position. Bring it down through this thread guide and then the final thread guide number five here. Now once I get this threaded, because the tension discs are open while the presser foot is up, it's loose. But when I lower the presser foot, I should feel it become much tighter. If so, that's success. If it doesn't seem to change, then it may, be, may not be in the tension disc properly. Once you have it threaded through guide number five, it's important that you turn your hand wheel clockwise or backwards so that your needle goes up to its highest position. So you see when I rotate my hand wheel, I get some up and down motion. Well, I wanna make sure that I'm at the highest point of that. After you come through number five, pull the thread to the left a little bit so that it catches in that left finger. Continue pushing on the needle threader, which will rotate into the needle eye and then pull up with a little pressure on the right hand side as the threader hook pulls your thread through. Now after that, I would want to raise my presser foot lever so that I can release the tension and it would pull our slack thread. And then when you begin to sew, I always like to position my thread to the back side of the presser foot. And I hope this makes things a little bit easier for you. Now that you know, get out and sew.